very good morning students welcome to this video previous class we will start about that new lessons you know microorganism front and core so in this lesson you have to learn about what is microbes or microorganism and the major types of microorganism you know so today we are going to talk about the next sub topic where do microorganism live okay va the today we will discuss about the where do microorganism where do microorganism live so in this topic you have learned about okay so what is the topic where do microorganism live so already told the previous class you know the microorganism okay microorganism it survival in that whole atmosphere you know so the microorganism may be survival in that whole parts of the earth surface or atmosphere you know the some microorganism you know the some microorganism is found in the single cell you know the single cell you know the single cell may nothing but the such kinds of organism is made up of single cell the such kinds of organism that organism is made up of organism made up of made up of the single cell okay what the organism is made up of the single cell okay what so like the bacteria algae and protozoa okay what bacteria algae and protozoa so these are the organisms these are the organism is made up of the single cell okay wa the single cell organism is nothing but organism made up of the single cell that is called the single cell organism like bacteria and protozoa and organisms okay wa and multicellular and multicellular means the organism made up of the many cells the organism uh, organism is made up of many cell organism is made up of the many cell that is called what multicellular that is called what the multicellular like example that algae and fungi so algae and fungi is the example of the multicellular okay what the single cell or multicellular may the such kinds of organism is made up of the single cell that is called the single cell organism for example bacteria and algae protozoa and multicellular means such kinds of organism is made up of that many cells that is called that multicellular organism for example the fungi and algae itself so that microorganism is present in from that cold region to hot regions so the microorganism it can survive in the all parts of the place okay what like the cold region and the hot region and the uh, springs and the uh, desert and the moist land itself so the microorganism is present everywhere in that atmosphere have you understood microorganism is present everywhere in that microorganism okay what so such kinds of microorganism okay what such kinds of microorganism it can live in inside the human cell or inside the human body and animals including that human being itself have you understood the such kinds of microorganism microorganism the naturally the microorganism it can survive in the all the places like that the organism it can survive in the cold region and the hot region itself and desert region and mountain and the land region itself okay the such kinds of microorganism it can survive or it can live in inside the human body as well as that animal body as well as the animal body itself okay wow. so such kinds of microorganism it can live in other organism while for existing in our life okay wow. such kinds of organism it can live in other organism while for existing in our life exist with we all okay exist in our life okay the such kinds of organism okay wow. like that amoeba you know so amoeba it can live in alone so 
this kind of organism like animal it can live in alone the amoeba it also living alone also living alone and such kinds of organism like fungi and bacteria fungi and bacteria fungi and bacteria it can survive in the colonies so the colonies is nothing but the growth so the amoeba it can live alone and the fungi and bacteria so these kinds of microorganisms it can live in colonies the colonies is nothing but the growth so okay, the colonies is nothing but the growth okay and next one the microorganism and as so already told that like the bacteria and fungi and virus you know and algae and protozoa all the microorganisms you know the some of the microorganism is naturally benefited for as naturally is yeah beneficial for as and some of the microorganism it causes this is for living organism have you understood the some of the microorganism such some of the microorganism is naturally beneficial for us okay wow. so such kind of organism is naturally is a harmful for us so that organism is caused this is for all living things including the human as well as the animals as well as the plant itself okay now the friendly microorganism okay wow. the next one friendly microorganism the next one the friendly microorganism okay so the naturally the microorganisms is used in the various purpose in our life okay the microorganism is naturally used in the various purpose in our life various purpose in our life because the microorganism is very important in our human life i told you know the some uh, some organism is benefited for us some of them is harmful us okay wow. so the microorganism is used in the various purpose in our life okay wow. they are used in that preparation of food and bread and cake etc okay wow. so the microorganism you know the microorganism the microorganism used for making used for the preparation of preparation of food and bread and cake etc okay so these are the microbes is a beneficial for us okay wow. the such kind of microorganism used for preparation of curd and uh, bread and cake okay and some of the microorganism is used for the preparation of all the alcohol okay wow. the some of the microorganism it can prepare a alcohol it can prepare a alcohol okay wow. so in such a in some other microorganism is naturally used in the clean in our environment some other organism is naturally clean in our environment okay wow. so that kind of microorganism is benefited for us for example like that organic waste you give up like that organic waste you give up so that organic waste means na organic waste means nothing but that vegetable peel and banana peel you give up the vegetable peel vegetable peel and the banana peel in some other peel okay wow. so this is your organic based material as well as that the human based also human based okay wow. so this is your it is one kind of the waste material the such kinds of bacteria it can synthesize it can synthesize and is converted into the harmless and reusable substance by bacteria harmless and usable substances by bacteria okay wow. so these are converts okay wow. vegetable peel and banana peel in some other the human waste also is present so some bacteria is converted how they are converted for beneficial for us okay wow. 
like that when we fill for x okay boy right? here what will happen some bacteria synthesis bacteria synthesizes the reaction okay boy right? and next one so this bacteria is a broken down into the harmless and substances by bacteria and in some other bacteria also it can used for medicine okay in some other microorganism used for medicine and in some other organism used for that agriculture used for that agriculture for agriculture for it increases the soil fertility agriculture increases the soil fertility it is that soil fertility okay ba so
and next what you do add some of the sugar add some sugar and add some the warm water add some warm water okay and you add some the yeast powder and you add some yeast powder you add some the yeast powder and need it to make a soft dough the need me cutting part like the mau paste you know chapati ko mau pane lagya and mar okay after two hours so what do you observe that areas what do you observe so definitely some changes will be occur what change so yeast reproduce yeast reproduce repeatedly is produce the carbon dioxide during respiration okay ma during the respiration carbon dioxide is repeatedly converted the during the respiration during the respiration so what so we are added in the yeast you know so that yeast is what to happen is change what how they are change the carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide during that respiration okay va wow. so next what will happen the bubbles of the gas the bubbles of the gas fill in that top and in this the volume okay va wow. in this the volume okay why that volume will be increased because that carbon dioxide occupied that space so that way it look like in the bubble structures okay va wow. so what is the main reason here the yeast synthesize here the what is the main reason is the yeast synthesize so that's why what will happen in is that volume in is that volume so this is the basic uses of yeast in our life okay va wow. it is the basic uses of it is the basic uses in yeast in our life so yeast it can also use it for making a uh, food item in industries like that uh, bread and cake okay va and uh, and in some other food item also use used to in make with the help of the yeast okay thank you students